Hello, Hello YouTube land, Marcellus and Lydia here. We are excited for this video. Uh, we're gonna show you some things that Lydia has had happen with some of the students up at the University of Utah. And I got, it was a treat for me because I like technology and I like everything that's going on. And Lydia was asked to participate in a trial with a, a robotic hip exoskeleton. And it was cool to see these students at work and what they've designed and how it all worked together. But pretty much what, what we did is we participated in a, in a trial or a, yeah, I guess an experiment with a couple of students and they were testing out how well this robotic hip exoskeleton worked with a person with disabilities. And we were invited to participate in that. Now, Lydia suffered from a stroke, so she has limited right side uh, capabilities. She can walk. Um, she uses a brace to help with her ankle. She has little limited movement in her arm to where it's not necessarily functional to the way that she wants it to be. Um, but we qualified for this experiment because of, of Lydia and her stroke. And we were invited in, and the first thing that they did is they fit this exoskeleton to her. And getting the right sizes for everything, and they had to make adjustments so that the exoskeleton would fit. And basically what it does, it wraps around the hip, and it wraps around both of her thighs right above the knee and it has some machine or robotic mechanisms inside that help move her legs. And there's a microcontroller or computer that is strapped to this in the back of it that would be able to control certain parts of this mechanism, this exoskeleton. And each leg is separately controlled, so uh, they can make one leg more powerful than the other leg or vice versa. Um, they can speed one leg up while slowing the other leg down, all that kind of stuff. So it was, I was excited or it was exciting for me because I'm, I like seeing that kind of stuff. And so what they, they invited us to participate in this, uh, in this experiment. And it was a few sessions, five sessions. Um, two to three, two hours a piece, and over the period of four or five weeks. And so we, we took a video or we videoed her progress and everything. And one of the things that we had to do with this is she had to, I mean, I guess part of the experiment was to, of course, help her move her affected leg, but it also was to gauge how much energy she had to or she was saving while wearing it and that was you know, part of the experiment saying how well does it help and they had to do some different measurements you know we had to do uh, a few trials with without the exoskeleton to see how well she did we had to do a few trials with the exoskeleton to see how well she did and we had to do those same trials wearing a, a mask that would measure um, some of her, I guess it measured meta uh, her metabolism through analyzing her breath. The setup that they had there, they were able to measure everything. They were able to measure the weight that she put on her left leg, the weight that she put on her right leg, uh, the speed that she was walking. They had some trackers that were put on her shoes, knees, thighs, hips, and back. And so that they can basically make a avatar on the computer of her movements. They were able to measure uh, how much weight she was putting on, on her hand as she was holding on to the safety bar as she was walking. So they were able to measure all these different things to determine, basically take these measurements and to determine how well this exoskeleton is, is working. So it was kind of interesting to see and to participate in. This is a video to show you our experience or Lydia's experience with these uh, students up at the University of Utah. 
and uh, I was just there for moral support because Lydia did all the work. Uh, but it was it was really cool to see, and it was cool to see these two individuals that we worked with their excitement, their desire. You can just see how well they just wanted it to. They just wanted us to have a good experience. They wanted their device to work. They just, I don't know. I can just see that they had their that their hearts were in it. I don't know, for something, uh, I don't know the right word, but it was it was cool to see and it was cool to participate in and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. What did you think of the, 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 the two uh, girls that were helping us? They're good, they are good. They were? Yeah. Um, how did they make you feel? Oh, good. They make you feel uncomfortable at all? No, not, not uncomfortable. They always made us feel welcome. Um, they are always good to, to see us there. And they made sure that Lydia was safe while she was doing this. And, and so, yeah, we have zero complaints. We'd love to participate with them again if they want us to. Uh, I don't know, it was just, it was a good experience all around. Four more to go. Huh? Only four more to go. Four? Maybe three. Three. Three more to go. You got it. Feel the same? You don't feel more tired? Less tired? Same. 
the same. You're not breathing as hard. Before you were breathing hard. But now it's like, yeah, I got this. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you want to give Lydia your support, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we love to see you in our future videos and we hope that you are all uh, doing well and being healthy and good to each other. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.